that this event was scheduled to take place on the 22nd of March this year. However, it didn't due to sudden and untimely demise of my predecessor, the late President Dr. John Pombe Magufuli. And so once again, I seize this opportunity for their decision to postpone this event. Indeed, this kind of gesture portrays a, a true definition of friendship and partnership. We thank you very much, Your Excellency. We all know how the late President Magufuli was an ardent and staunch supporter of this project. And so, postponing the event was an honor to his commitment in the realization of this project. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, the signing of this agreement is an auspicious occasion, not just for Uganda and Tanzania, but the entire East Africa region. As we are all aware, this project will have an impact on socio-economic development and geostrategic dynamics. Among other benefits, the project will yield revenues to both countries while creating short and long-term employment for both highly skilled and semi-skilled professionals as well as casual laborers, thus addressing the unemployment challenge especially among the youth. It is expected that more than 10,000 employment opportunities are expected to be created during execution and upon its completion. Apart from socioeconomic benefits, the project will also stimulate trade, investment, as well as unlocking the East Africa's oil potential, thus attracting more investors. More importantly, this project will strengthen strategic partnership and cooperation between our two brotherly countries, and in, in addition, it will forge further the regional integration and people's interaction. It is my firm belief that this project, once completed, will be of an advantage to both our countries and our region at large. And on this note, allow me to commend all parties involved for their dedicated commitment and unyielding sacrifice towards the realization of this common goal. I'm quite conversant that prior to the implementation of this project, there are still pending issues that need to be addressed. And in this regard, I urge all parties to work together to address the remaining issues to ensure the expedient start of this project. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, our region is well endowed with abundant natural resources, which includes oil, gas, minerals, diverse number of wildlife and plants, as well as livestock and marine ecosystems. In order to fully and effectively exploit and utilize the, these resources, we need quality infrastructure. Without it, economic development would just be a myth. And in this respect, I'm pleased to note that our countries have now embarked on building strategic infrastructure to support these endeavors. Apart from the pipeline, we have embarked on the construction of roads ports, airports, railways, as well as power plants to generate electricity. This is indeed a significant step in the right direction. I humbly wish to encourage all the countries in the region to continue building these infrastructures and projects that shall spur our economic growth. Your Excellencies, your Excellency President Museveni, distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, before I conclude, let me once again reiterate my heartfelt appreciation to you and the entire people of Uganda for a fraternal and warm welcome in this beautiful city of Entebbe 
and in this occasion in particular. Uh, this is my first trip outside my country since I took oath of an office. And so I thank you very much for this invitation. And I'm very happy to be in Uganda. Uganda and Tanzania are not only neighbors and joined by Kagera River and Lake Victoria, but are also friends and blood brothers. For decades long, we have kept a close cooperation at bilateral, regional, and multilateral fora. And in this respect, I wish to assure you, Your Excellency, and through you, the government and the brotherly people of Uganda, that under my stewardship, I'll cement further the existing relations and scale to a greater heights new areas of cooperation for the mutual benefit of our two countries and our peoples. I thank you very much, Your Excellency, and I thank you all for your kind attention. Thank you very much. I'd like to, to thank Her Excellency Samia Suruhu Hassan for these insightful words. 